Hi, it's Bronwyn from RAP. As audio engineers, there are a lot of tools available to us to help us make good decisions to deliver quality product. And one of the most important set of tools that you could get to grips with are the various metering tools. They basically help you to make sense of what you are hearing by seeing it. So in Logic, there's a really useful tool. It's called the Multimeter Tool, and there's a lot of different tools. There's a spectrum analyzer, goniometer, peak and RMS meters, LUFS meters, and a correlation meter. And today, I thought that I would spend some time with you uh, having a look at the goniometer. So let me quickly play a track for you. It's called Take a Step Now that I'm busy working on. And uh, let's have a look at what that goniometer does. Okay, so what is a goniometer? Well, it's also known as a vector scope. Um, and basically it has a visual or a graphic display over here that will help you check the phase relationship and the overall stereo width of your material. And it'll help you to make sure that your audio will play back well in mono when necessary. So how do you use it? Well, I'm gonna quickly go over and check uh, a test oscillator. And um, I've inserted one on a channel. I'm using a sine wave with a one kilohertz frequency tone at a level of minus 23 dB. Um, you'll see on the goniometer here, you'll see that there are three lines labeled left, middle and right, or L, M and R. Um, if I play the tone, you'll see that it's centered over here and uh, you'll notice that the line will be in the middle. Let's have a look. Fantastic. If I play that exact same tone, but this time round, I pan it all the way to the left, you'll notice that the line on the left hand side lights up. Fantastic. And we do the same thing for the right hand side. So that's how you determine left, middle and right is where your material um, sits within the left, the middle and the right with middle obviously being mono. But then in order to check the phase relationship, this is where it gets interesting, I'm gonna flip one of these channels out of phase. Um, if I pan them both center, even though I play them, uh, and you'll see that the meters will read here, there'll be no, no output because they'll be 180 degrees out of phase. Mm. If I now uh, pan the one left, and I pan the other signal right. Um, they still flipped out of phase. One channel is out of phase. When I play it, have a look. Look at that horizontal line. And that is what indicates that there is a big phase issue. Fantastic. Um, but you would have noticed when we played Take a Step now that there was a ball of energy that was sitting in the middle over here. It wasn't just sitting left or right or middle in this nice, perfect, straight line. Um, there was a lot of information and, and, and a lot of energy that you could see that was dancing around. And that is indicative of a really good stereo spread. Uh, let's have a listen to, to Take a Step now. And you can see that that stereo field is working really, really nicely. Nothing has gone horizontal. It's uh, dancing in the middle and a little bit uh, left and right as uh, the mix opens up. Hopefully what you've seen at the bottom over here with the correlation meter is that um, it's moving around as well. And basically what the correlation meter does is it makes sure that the left and the right signals will sum to mono without any cancellation of frequencies. Um, if you look at it, you basically have three sections. You have your middle and your right and your left, or you have a zero and a plus one and a negative one. Now what happens is, as the material is playing, um, plus one is looking really good for mono compatibility between zero and plus one. Um, as you get closer to zero, so you're getting closer to 
um, where you're going to start introducing some some trouble because your mix is going to be too wide. There's going to be too a lot of phase uh, cancellations um, and and issues that are going to arise there. So if you're sitting at zero, that's really kind of the safest place for your stereo mix to be. But uh, in between zero and plus one is a really nice. That's a nice wide mix, um, but it's still going to translate well into into your mono playback. As soon as you start dipping below that zero and you get to negative one, you would have noticed that the meter, when we did our test oscillator, uh, you'll notice that that correlation meter hits negative one. Let's have a look. And that is indicating that that is out of phase. So. It's okay for your uh, correlation meter to dip every now and then between uh, um, under zero, between zero and minus one. Uh, but if it's there a lot, then you need to go back to your mix. You need to have a listen. You need to check your phase relationship, um, especially in your low end. You need to check maybe you've made something too wide, um, but you've definitely got uh, phase issues in there and it's not going to translate well to um, mono playback. Well, that's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial um, on the goniometer and correlation meters. Until next time, take care. <laughs> <laughs>